Dan Neff has owned his own glass shop in Duluth for about 10 months, but he has been blowing glass for about 10 years. Uh, I took a community ed class when I was 17 and I was just completely hooked and so that night I actually convinced the instructor to take me on as an apprentice. I had never even seen glass blowing before to my recollection until I took that class and was really interested and just wanted to learn how to do it and so you know kind of made my own opportunity to learn how to do that that night. He has trained two apprentices in the past and has been currently teaching Michael Ray for about six months. And then with Michael, um, he inquired about apprenticeships and I said, well, you know, I don't just give them out to anyone who might be interested, so why don't you come take a class and we'll see, you know, how quickly you pick it up. And, uh, and he picked it up really quickly and I said, yeah, why don't you come back and we'll start, you know, working on some basic things. And um, yeah, he's picked it up really quickly. It's how I learned and it's how I, like, enjoy teaching people. And it's really beneficial to both, both parties because they get to learn in trade for work versus like paying to take classes and figuring it out, out all on your own. You get to have someone's instruction and all you have to do is spend some time, you know, helping them out, you know, or helping me out, so. Starting with about eight artists, the shop now carries works from over 35 different artists. Neff doesn't expect to make profit from the business yet, but for now he's happy to break even. Uh, I grew up uh, working with my grandfather who was a stonemason and so from the time I was probably 11 or 12 years old, I was hauling bricks and blocks and, and mixing mortar mix for him and eventually by the time I was, I think, 14, I was splitting stones with him out in gravel pits and helping him do that and so I just really learned a strong work ethic which allows me to do a business like this where I have to work 12 hours a day with very little pay um, but also to, to have something to show at the end of my day for, for what I did, what I put in. Just having that tangible piece of, of work get to look at it and say, oh sweet, that turned out really good, and have that, that gratification or that, that moment of pride knowing that your energy and your endurance went into that piece. And a lot of people ask, well, do you ever just sit down and start melting something and see what comes out? And I said, well, no, you just get a random blob of glass, and sure, I could call it art and do something cool with it, but it's not, um, that's not what I'm going for. I'm looking to achieve a specific result pretty much every time I sit down to make something. My favorite pieces right now are the tree sculptures. Uh, they're new, they're exciting for me to make, they take like an entire day. There's a lot of components that go into them and it, I'm using a lot of techniques that I haven't used before in making those, so that's really fun. My goal is to create an environment where people will be inspired. I just want them to come in here and really be immersed in the world of glass art because there's so many different ways you can work with glass as an art form that I felt like it just needed its own gallery. I plan to be here for, you know, until I retire, I hope. Um, that's kind of the goal as far as being a sustainable artist throughout my career and, and that having this allows me to still support myself and make a living out of, out of what I love to do, which is making glass, but it's doing it in a different way as opposed to traveling around the country and setting up you know, a, a temporary gallery, if you will, like on a street for an art fair um, and doing that 20-something times a year every year for the rest of my life. So, yeah, you know, I hope to have the business around for a long time and move.